This is Dave Espenscheid, a Microsoft CRM Certified Consultant with Customer Dynamics. In this lesson, we'll be learning about personal views. In some cases, the views currently in CRM will not fit your exact needs. This may be a view that wouldn't be necessary for everyone who is using the system, but a view that would help you do your work faster and easier. CRM makes it really easy to create a personal view that's available only to you. We'll review how to create a new personal view and how to set that personal view as your default view. Creating personal views allows you to choose exactly what records show in a view and allows you to choose what information from those records will be shown. Let's take a look at My Active Accounts. Here in the grid you see My Active Accounts. Now let's say we were looking to create a new view. I've created a list of criteria that I'm looking for. I want a list of active accounts that belong to me that have a hundred or more employees and I want to add a column number of employees. Now my active accounts is pretty close to what we're looking for. It is composed of active accounts that belong to me but as you can see we don't have a column for number of employees and we're certainly not filtering for accounts that have a hundred or more employees. As we take a uh, look at the list of our views, none of the views come close to what we're looking for, but my active accounts comes closest. At the bottom of the list you'll see a link to create a personal view. On the left you'll see that CRM already knows that we're looking to create an account view and we're creating a new view. Now since we're going to use the My Active Accounts view as a, as a base, we can click on the list and select My Active Accounts. You'll see the filter criteria come up. First, the owner needs to equal the current user, so that's going to satisfy our requirement. I'm looking for accounts that belong to me. Second, status equals active, meaning any active accounts. We can add our next criterion, number of employees. This is a list of all the fields on the account form. We just simply need to find the right one that we want to use for our filter. Next, we want to make sure that the number of employees filter is filtering for accounts that have more than 100 employees. The only remaining alteration we need to make is to add a number of employees column. In the navigation ribbon you'll see there's a button for edit columns. You'll see our current columns from the My Active Accounts view. Now we need to simply select Add Columns. Again, we'll scroll down to Number of Employees, select OK, and select OK again. We've satisfied all the criteria that we'd like for our new view. Now we just need to save it. In the Navigation ribbon, we'll select Save As, and we can simply rename our view. Now that we've created and saved the view, let's go ahead and take a look at it. If we return to the grid, you'll still see my active accounts. When we take a look at the list of views, you'll see a new section for my views, which is just that. Views only I can see since I created it. You'll see a list of account records populate that are satisfying the criteria that we've set here. Note that the number of employees column is on the far right. Since this is a prominent part of our view, we may want to move the view, move the column to the left. To return to editing the view, we can either return to the window that we were at before, but if you've already closed it, from the grid you can select View and New Personal View. 
on the navigation ribbon to access any custom views that you've created in the past, select Saved Views. From here you can take many actions such as activating, deactivating, or deleting a saved view. In this case, we'd like to edit the view. This is our current view. To edit the columns, we'd select Edit Columns from the Navigation ribbon. And to move a column, we simply select the column and click on the arrow buttons. If you'd like to change the width of the column, click on Change Properties. We can now save our view and return to the grid. To refresh the view, we can go to the list of views once again and select our new view that we've created. You'll see that the number of employees column has been moved to the left as we wanted it to. If we wanted to set this view as our default view, in the navigation ribbon, view tab, we would select set as default view. This lesson covered how to create a personal view, customizing both filter criteria and display columns to fit your needs. We also reviewed how to edit a personal view, including how to activate, deactivate, or delete the view. Personal views can save you a lot of time when you need to regularly access information that does not exist in a current view. Thanks for watching.